the first step, even before you go taking soil samples, is to label all bags correctly in a dry place. It is crucially important to take the soil samples correctly with the proper equipment. Stop intermittently to take a sample and zigzag across the field to get a representative sample. As you will see later, if this first step is not completed properly, the results are almost worthless. Don't use a shovel. Take the soil sample in the top 100 millimeters or four inches, not the subsoil, and record your sample numbers on a log sheet that goes with the samples to the laboratory. To help you understand why taking the sample properly is so important, and to show you what happens to your soil samples once they go to the lab, I called into FBA in Capaquin and Connor Butler showed me around. The first step the lab technician will do to prepare the sample for testing is to empty the contents onto a tray ready for the oven where the sample will be dried out. The clay samples are dried for 48 hours at a temperature over 40 degrees. Once dried, the samples are wheeled out of the oven into another room where they will be ground down. The soil samples are dropped down a funnel through spring-loaded rollers, resulting in a small labelled container of finely ground clay. The sample is lifted from the grinding machine and sealed. The final step in lab preparation is to scoop a sample of the soil from the original sample and transfer it to vials on round trays. The first test in the lab is to find out the water pH. This procedure measures the acidity or alkalinity of the soil. Approximately 20 ml of deionized water is poured into the soil sample. Once added, the samples are put onto a rotating table and a dropper will then individually stir the samples and take a reading using electromotive force, which will automatically send the results to a computer. If the pH is less than 6.5, then lime is required. To find out how much lime is required, the same procedure is carried out using SMP buffer solution instead of water. The change in buffer pH is a measure of the lime requirement of the soil. Once this test has been completed, most soil samples are tested for phosphorus and potassium. The soil samples are extracted into Morgan solution and the filtrate analysed using a flow injection analyzer. Again, the results are delivered to the technician's computer. It is clear if a representative soil sample is not taken properly in the field, then the whole process is worthless and a waste of time and money.